First floor. Going up. Hey guys, welcome back to another Roblox elevator testing video. Finally! Basically, I have these elevator models over here and I'm going to be testing them out. And I'm also going to be rating them on their functionality and design. Most of these models will be linked in the description of this video. We have quite a lot of elevators over here, so let's just not waste any more time and let's get started with the video. Okay, we have loaded in and here is the range of elevators we're going to be testing today. For the cargo lifts, I got actual cars, so we're going to drive the cars inside and we're going to test them out. Not a good start, um, not sure what's going on with this elevator, it's going pretty crazy. So here's our first elevator, it's a glass lift. The button has both a beep sound and a clicking sound, that's pretty cool. Okay, inside looks not too bad, it's kind of small though. Looks like uh, the elevator freezes you while it's in operation. That's pretty good. I do wish for this lift to have all glass because it's kind of small and, you know, squeezy, but at least we have the glass doors. And the lift door seems to be a decal. Okay, so for some reason when I press the bell, it also presses G, so it looks like we can have emergencies in here. Ooh, okay, it looks like this lift has sensors. Alright, good start. This lift is pretty good. It does look a little bit old, but it looks beautiful. So, I'll give this an 8.5 upon 10. Do wish the inside could be a little bit bigger. We have the next lift here. Also glass lift, uh, but it does look a little bit bigger. <laughs> Do you hear that button clicking sound? That's pretty weird. Sounds like paintball. Okay, anyways, um, ooh. Why is it that the outside doors are glass but the inside isn't? So what's the point? Oh, wow. <laughs> Did you see that? The part just got dislodged. Okay, that's a pretty big gap. Okay, pretty interesting lift. Um, it's definitely a lot bigger and brighter, but some parts have dislodged, so I don't know what's going on. And why are the outside doors glass while the inside isn't? So that is a question I want to know. But it's still a pretty good lift, so I will give it a 8 upon 10. Alright, we already know what happened to this lift. Um, we're, good. we're still gonna see if it works. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, oh no! That's not good. So that means the sensors do not work, or the lift doesn't even have sensors because now I am trapped inside. If you see up there, <laughs> the lift doors are still opening. Alright, this is a quick one. Um, I can't really rate this lift because it doesn't even work, but the it does look pretty nice, so I say the designs will be a 8.5 upon 10, but functionality will be 1 because it did not work. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna be taking a break from these lifts because we're gonna be trying out one of these cargo lifts. Okay, well, I didn't expect this lift to be that huge. You can probably fit like 15 cars inside, I don't know. It looks like there's a screen showing what floor it is on, but it looks like it's only available on the first floor because I do not see the screen on the other floors. Press the button. And let's enter. Okay, maybe 15 cars is not possible. I'd say at most 8. Okay, without further ado, let's go upstairs. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay, wait, what is happening? The door is not even closed all the way. Uh, uh, the car has sunk into the floor. It's not really ideal, you know. Well, at least we have arrived at the floor. But you see, we do have a slight problem here with the car halfway into the floor. Okay, so for this cargo lift, it is very nicely made, but it doesn't really carry cars very well. So, um, I think I will give it a 7. Next lift here, another glass lift. We actually have a lot of glass lifts for this episode. Okay, I'm gonna stop you there. Before we get into the next elevator, I'm gonna do something I've never ever done on this channel before. Today's sponsor is Red. We now have a Discord server, so do consider joining it if you want to like hang out or something. I'm just gonna be posting some random stuff in there, so yeah. All right, that's it. Let's get back to the video. Looks like it's the same elevator system as the wooden one. I didn't know I needed a tutorial on how to use the elevator, but I guess it's there. Oh, this one has an alarm now. 
Anyways, what I was saying was why are the glass leaves matte and how come they change color every time I look up and down? It, it kind of looks like the color changing BMW. <laughs> Alright, never mind, let's just go up. Did I hear the Windows error button? Never mind, let's just go up. If you keep opening it for a certain period of time, the door will be forcefully closed. So, alright, I want to try that out. Oh my god! That scared me. I'm filming this in the middle of the night. It's like 12 midnight right now and that scared me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'll give this a 8.5 upon 10. Very simple, very easy and clean and it gets the job done. Next up, we have this pretty old lift. It is very high. Okay, pretty cool. It says the floor in multiple languages. Um, okay, I don't know why. If this place is designated for uh, wheelchairs, why is the wheelchair elevator button so high up? Oh, and I didn't even realize the back of this is glass, but... Also, I like how they used all the textures, like just like a regular lift, and then just put it on Please. here. These alarms, if I hear them in the middle of the night, just all of a sudden, I'll freak out. So, it is a good lift, um, but it's just not my design choice. But I'll still give it an 8 upon 10. It's functional, it's simple, it is just, you know, operational. Next lift here, we have a glass lift, but no glass doors. So that's a pretty interesting First. design choice. Looks like these sensors are always green. Um, Oh wow! First, the elevator trying to kill me or something. Wow, <laughs> why is it so choppy? Okay, I'm pretty sure all this lag is just because I have like so many elevators in this game. So yeah, usually when I go past these lights, it's supposed to turn orange or something, but um, it's not really working here. Honestly, I think I'll give this an eight and a half upon ten because the door sensors tried to kill me multiple times, and um, I don't really think that's good. But still, the attention to detail is just spot on for this lift. To save you some time, I'm going to be quickly summarizing the next three elevators because they weren't really anything out of the ordinary. Um, I don't know what to say, it looks like a prison in here. <laughs> Absolutely no windows, so there's no view of the outside. Alarms all the- Oh! Um, I don't think I want to press that any further. Okay, I don't know why this lift is so depressing. Um, I would say a seven and a half. The next glass elevator, and let's enter in here. Okay, this lift is pretty wide, wow. Looks like there's no numbers on the button. I like this screen here. I th it's a pretty simple lift, uh, nothing too special about it. So I will give this a 8.5 upon 10. We have this thing. Whoa, okay, I thought this was a teleporter. Um, it's not. Honestly, this is a very modern lift. Those kinds you see at like shopping malls. Honestly, at this angle, you can't deny that this doesn't look like a teleporter to like the outside world. I like this digital screen. I will give this a 9 upon 10. So simple, yet so beautiful. For the second last lift, we have this futuristic glass elevator. Kinda looks like the tiny tower elevator. Um, okay, pretty interesting. There's a down button on the first floor. Okay, there is music in this. Wow, look at how fast we are going. And we are already here. That took like 10 seconds, I'm not even kidding. That was fast! Okay, anyways, this is what I was talking about, about the previous lift on how the lights changed orange when I walked past it. Okay, we're gonna do some mathematics here. Because school has just started, I'm gonna practice. So it took 12 and a half seconds to get 311 studs. What is one Roblox stud? 25 centimeters. 311 minus 7 because we were at 7 for the first floor brings us to 304 studs. Hey Google, 304 times 25. 7600 centimeters, 12 and a half seconds brings us to an average speed of 22 kilometers per hour. So fast, so efficient, so well made. 10 out of 10. Honestly, no issue with this lift except that the music is just a little bit too loud. And we have now saved the cargo elevator for the last. Because the Tesla had a little bit of an issue, we're gonna be using the Mercedes. Wow, the seats. Not sure why you wanna sit down. Okay, we've got the car in here. So let's go up to the 10th floor. Oh, I shouldn't have picked 10. It's gonna take so long. Imagine getting crushed by one of these lifts. 
Oh, okay, okay, that just happened to me. So far, everything is going well. The Mercedes is not sinking into the floor. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, looks like the car is gonna be stuck there forever. Overall, this cargo elevator is much better than the other one because it actually can carry cars now. It's just not as big as the other one, but it's still very well made, so I'm gonna give it a 9 upon 10 because it can actually carry cars. Just maybe make it a little bit bigger. That's pretty much it for this elevator testing video. If you're interested in these kind of testing videos, feel free to suggest any other stuff that I should test. I've tested planes, I've tested Teslas, I've tested buses. So I don't know, what else should I test next? Either way, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more videos in the future.